Hi guys, welcome to Make Studies. Today we are going to learn saturated air and unsaturated air. To know the psychometry and psychometric chart, we have to know the basic fundamentals of saturated air and unsaturated air concept. So what is saturated air and unsaturated air and what does saturation mean? Let's see the diagram of air. So this is the gas molecules present in the air. So it is dry air and this is the water vapor. Water consists in the air as a vapor. So this air consists gases that is the dry air and water vapor. It means this air is moist air. Now this saturated air or saturation and unsaturated air is closely related to water vapor. Let's try to understand. This is an enclosed container and it has moist air. It means this container has gases and water vapor and this container has maintained at some pressure and temperature. We are keeping the pressure and temperature fixed as with changing the pressure and temperature the properties of air will be changed. Now if we remove this water vapor from this moist air this moist air will become dry air. Now if we connect a pipe and add some water vapor this dry air will be again changed into moist air. If we observe closely this moist air we will see that there are few space available to accommodate extra water vapor. It means the air can hold some more water vapor and this air is called unsaturated air. Let's put some more water vapor. See the air is holding this more moisture. So this air is called unsaturated air. Now if we put more moisture, see this one, an air cannot hold. What happens here? This water vapor changed into water droplets and settle down. So air cannot hold more water vapor at this pressure and temperature and this air is called saturated air and this condition is known as saturation. So we have understood the basic theoretical concept about saturation, saturated air and unsaturated air. Let's try to understand these three process with one physical example. Take an empty glass and we will consider the empty glass as air and we will try to explain what is saturated air and unsaturated air in a physical manner. Now we will put some water in this glass. Look at this glass. Is it filled? No. So glass can take more water or as we have considered the glass as air so we can say air can take more water. So air is unsaturated. Now if we add some more water, what do you think? It is saturated or unsaturated? Still it is not filled. So we can say it is also unsaturated condition. Now if we add more water up to this top level, so the glass is filled. It means the glass cannot hold more water or the air cannot hold the more water. This is the maximum water level the air can hold or the glass can hold. If we add more water what will happen? This water will be out from the glass. So the glass or air cannot hold water anymore and these situations we called that air is saturated. So we can define saturated air and unsaturated air. 
saturated air when the air is holding its maximum amount of vapor at a particular pressure and temperature the air will be called as saturated air and the condition will be called as saturation unsaturated air when the air can hold more water vapor at a particular pressure and temperature the air will be called as unsaturated air i hope the concept is clear thank you so much and stay tuned to makestudies.com